Hello and welcome to the lab of Dr. Sinensis. This is your host, Dr. Sinensis. And today we will be playing Faster Than Light. This is a very fun space game in which it is... It feels turn-like, but it's not. You're basically being Captain Kirk in this game. Um, if you don't understand what I'm trying to explain to you, uh, let me show you. So... This is one of the ships you can play as, and this is your crew. It can, it can be seen here. Now, your crew is to fight off enemies that board your ship and run systems on your ship. Uh, you have a max power uh, reactor, which seems to be unseen. It's like not drawn in the game, or it's in the engine room, I don't know. And you just uh, revert power to what systems you want. Right now, we're fully powered. Um, let's see. We have two weapon systems on this build. It is a missile launcher and a burst laser. Uh, missile launchers are good for breaching shields due to the fact that shields can't stop them. And then the laser uh, is just good at putting out damage, really. So the missile, uh, a strategy you would use anyways, is having a missile launcher target a shield system and then having the lasers come in and chew up everything else. I have unlocked the NG ship, one of the NG ships, and um, it it's uh it's, it has much it has a much more different approach. Um, they are kind of indirect in their way of attack. It seems at, at least initially what with what they gave you, um, like the ion blast is um, it just shoots ion weapons, which actually don't really damage their ship. It actually simply turns off sy systems of the enemy ship, which is quite uh, quite useful. And then you have this drone, which is an auto ship one, which is uh, it's basically a little drone that just flies around their ship and shoots a laser. However, it's not going to get much done unless their shields are down. This is where the ion blast comes in. Um, the th unique thing about this crew is it comes with two NGs. NGs are very good at repairing things. Um, I, let's see, uh, their repair speed is double, but their combat damage is, uh, is halved. And, uh, then we just got a regular human. So, I think we'll just go with the basic one today. Um, what, what do we name it? Um, uh, T-Lab. T-Lab sounds nice. T-Lab. Alright, uh, there's our crew. Oh, let me just hit enter here. Alright, uh, we're gonna do easy, because this is a very hard game. I haven't played normal yet. Um, I haven't beat the game on easy once yet, so... As soon as I do that, then I'll start doing normal. Um, in easy mode, scrap, which is basically currency in this game, uh, da -da -da, is increased, and enemies are easier. And then in normal mode... Standard scrap rewards and enemies, but your score gets a 25% boost because you're playing on normal. You're taking a risk. So, we're going to be playing on easy with the T-Lab. Let's begin. Alright, so, i um, going to skip all this. Basically, uh, a rebel fleet is chasing us, and we have information vital to the Federation to stop this rebel fleet from totally throwing the world into chaos, utter chaos. So, Let's jump to the next sector. Okay, so we have normal sectors here, and we have nebula sectors. Nebula sectors will slow down the rebels' pursuit of us. Um, and we want to get to this point so we can get to another sector. Um, let's blaze a trail through the nebula, shall we? Let's see, where are we? A pirate ship. All right. Um, we could attack him, or we could just let him pass. Let's attack him. Let's, oh, it's a slug. No. At least it's just an interceptor, at least. But slugs are very hard to fight, it seems. They're just they're just really good. All right. So I paused the game so that I can do some actions here. Now, let's move Beth to shields. Let's move mullet? Mullet to weapons. We're going to... We don't have anyone on engines right now uh having someone on engines will charge up the ftl drive uh faster than light drive uh so we can jump away and i think it also helps our evasion of enemy fire i'm not 100 percent certain on that so we're gonna charge up our rocket launcher and charge up our lasers and once they're charged the rocket's gonna hit their shield system and 
the lasers will come in and hit their weapon system. Let's go. Now you might be wondering why I can't see the interior of my ship, like only when someone's in it will I see it. And that is because we are in a nebula and they mess with my sensors. So I can't see anything that's going on on the ship. Okay, so they're trying to escape. Now if we hit their engines, they won't be able to. So we're going to hit their engines and oxygen. Hopefully before they jump away. And fire. Yeah. We got them! Awesome! So we got 19 scrap from their ship and a boarding drone. How nice! Boarding drone is a very unique... Oh, we're getting out of here before we take any damage. Oh, it's just going to go to another nebula. Well, let's just take a sec here. Uh, a boarding drone is a drone, which... Well, a droid or drone, whatever. That takes drone parts. One drone part every time you use it. And it they're usually pretty much automated in everything they do. Pretty sure all drones are. Um, but you have to have a specific onboard system to do it. So right now, he's just in my cargo bay, and I can't do anything with him. And he's quite an expensive drone, so I might sell him for profit here later, if we, uh, if we find a shop. Oh, okay, so, let's jump to... Mm, I like this one, because it looks like they link up. Because there have been many times when two stars will not connect, and I think they... When, when I thought they will, and it's kind of... Disappointing and angering because the rebels are getting closer and it's just oh auto scout All right, auto scouts aren't too hard to beat. Let's see mm, It doesn't even have shields hmm all right in that case I'm Gonna hit its weapons and its steering. Let's go However, uh, uh, a strategy you cannot use on an auto scout because it's just a big drone, basically, is that it doesn't have oxygen systems, naturally, because it doesn't have a crew. And so you can't just make them all suffocate because there isn't a crew. Um, two missiles, a drone part, and scrap. Um, now, I'm not, I don't plan on buying a drone system just because it's so expensive. So... I'm gonna sell our drone, and I wish I could sell the drone part, but unfortunately you cannot sell any of these three things. And honestly, I wouldn't think about selling these two, unless I had a ship without a rocket launcher. Um, a missile launcher, I mean, sorry. Uh, but I wish I could sell these sometimes. Alright, let's get out of here. Ah, oh, distress signals. Okay, well, we're gonna bypass this one, because, again, it doesn't look like it'll hook up. And we'll go to this one. Alright, let's see. A rock. Oh, rock scout. Alright, uh, let's see. Oh. They're actually not gonna be... Yeah, neutral. Okay, let's see. Um, we're gonna help them get somewhere. Where they wanna go. Oh, it's away from... Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it because we're gonna get paid. Or this might be a trap. Whoops. Oh, good, it wasn't a trap. They gave us two fuel. That'll basically make up for our trip. And we got a drone part, of course. And just some scrap. Alright, ooh. See, the rebels are coming in. If that crosses over anything, if I go into that sector, I will have to fight rebel ships. And they are very tough. And there is almost 100% guarantee that a rebel ship will be there. Um, okay. Oh, store. Um... No, no, we gotta bypass it. We'll we'll run into one later. Oh no, a star and a rebel fighter. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, dang it. No, this might be the end of us. This situation is always oh, a bad one. Okay, okay. Let's let's do the protocol, people. We can do this. Charging weapons. Fire! Good! Oh, so awesome. Oh no, solar flare. Okay, good. Oh, they're surrendering. So they'll give us a fuel, a missile, a few scraps, and a... Oh, a system repair drone. I thought they were giving us the system. Oh, that would have been so nice. Awesome. But we can't jump out of here, the solar flare. Ow! Oh no. Uh, 
Now, this is something pretty fun to do. Create a vacuum. And basically what that'll do is it put out fire. Um, okay, we're gonna jump out of here. Yeesh. Um, draining an area of oxygen will also hurt crew members that use oxygen. And I'm pretty sure all crew members do. I don't know of any that don't. Even the rocks, I think, use oxygen. Ooh, there's a black market hub here. Oh, they just want to buy missiles. Mm. Well, missiles are very important to us, so we're not selling them. Okay, draining the fire. Okay, good. Now, uh, well, this is good. We'll just sit here and regain our oxygen. And I will see you guys next time in the lab of Dr. Sinensis.